up guys, welcome back to show, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, I do want to get into uh, the giveaway first. First things first, I want to give a special shout out to everyone's names right over here that purchased merch since the last video. Um, guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me, Nor, when are you going to do the giveaway? The giveaway is going to be happening as soon as at least most of these plates are sold. We did a drop on these plates last week. When you guys purchased a plate, you guys are featured in the E91 plaque. You guys are entered for the giveaway. This giveaway right over here, two jumper packs from Keys Motorsports. We got the P gear from Keys Motorsports and as well as a really nice wallet from Keys Motorsports. You guys will be entered to win this stuff as soon as we at least sell a majority of these license plates. We got the M Life. Remember to stay humble for those of you guys who have M Sports and uh, you know M3s and stuff. And we got the normal same BMW plates with the broke Beaver boys. For everyone else that has a project car that's trying to build their BMW and trying to make it something awesome. So if you guys want to check out those plates, it's going to be the first link down below. You guys are going to be tremendously helping out the channel. Currently, right now, with all the economy stuff is working out, it's been a little bit of a struggle, guys. I'm trying to even figure out whether or not I should even paint the E91 M3 just because of like financial and still trying to make the R8 dream come true. Um, a lot of stuff going on and I'm like trying to figure out what's the best thing for me. And I would appreciate the support for those of you guys who enjoy watching the videos. These license plate frames are very affordable. And again, you guys are entered for a giveaway, shout it out in the next video and featured on the E91 M3 plaque. So again, if you guys wanna check it out, first link down below. Without further ado, let's go and hop back into the video. What's up guys, welcome back, let's go back to another video. And in today's video, we're back with the E91 M3. I know a lot of you guys did not like the last video. It is what it is. I wanted to get it out. I really wanted an Apple CarPlay for the uh, i3 is just something I really, really, really needed. So I got that video out for the sake of that upgrade. But anywho, we are back with the E91 M3 build and I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of an update what's going on with the R8 build as well. No, 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 I didn't actually get an R8 just yet. I'm actually like looking at the market right now and uh, surprisingly, surprisingly, um, uh, cars are really coming down. And that's actually the reason why the E90 M3 is still here and it hasn't been sold yet. Um, it's just because like right now cars are not selling. So that being said, I'm looking at auctions and I'm looking at literally Gen 2 R8s going for much less than they normally do. I'm actually seeing Huracans go for much less than they normally do. And I'm actually seeing 570 S's go for much less than they normally do. So there's actually a lot of supercars now for that price range um, that I'm looking at. And obviously like the 570 is pretty sick. I mean, that'd be kind of insane if we get a 570. And then obviously a Huracan is absolutely insane. It's basically, it has the same engine as an R8. I mean, the R8 has a Lambo engine, but you got the Lambo badge on it, which is just like super nice. But the thing is, it's like, I've always dreamed to have an R8. So like, I feel like if I get anything else other than an R8, I'm just not gonna be happy with it. My dream, like when I was growing up, of course, was a first gen R8. And uh, you know, it's kind of like, if I change it up and I get something else, would I be really, really happy with it? Like obviously a McLaren is sick, a Lambo is sick, but like end of the day, I want an R8, you know? So it's really difficult to kind of like make that decision. I have been looking at auctions. I, I need to sell this white M3 to be 100% ready to buy uh, that, that big purchase. But at the same time, I'm also looking at the market like the market keeps going down so that the thing is supercars might be going cheaper and cheaper but my goal is is to buy a supercar by the end of this year i just don't know if that's smart so long story short i'm gonna keep you guys posted i'm probably gonna take you guys to copart with me i'm gonna try to go look at a few of these cars so look out for videos upcoming and it's not gonna just be r8 it's gonna be literally everything whatever i can find like the best bang for the buck because you guys know where this channel pretty much started from we're all about getting the best bang for the buck and obviously if you can get a 570 or lambo um for the same price as like a, a you know an r8 that'd be kind of insane because because those cars retail a lot more than an R8. But at the same time, I've always wanted an R8. So it's kind of it's kind of hard, it's kind of hard. Like even the R8s, like I was gonna say earlier, I've always wanted an R8, but it was a first gen. So like a second gen, would I be cheating myself? Because I, be, I always wanted to own a first gen. But then if I get a first gen, it's only like 10 or $15,000 difference when you get it totaled compared to a 570 Huracan or Gen 2. So it's like really, really, really difficult for me to decide. Um, at the same time, I can't really be too picky because um, basically how auctions work, whoever the totals a car, you go buy that totaled car. You don't just, you know, pick and choose and spec out the car you want. You get, you get the leftovers. <laughs> so I'm perfectly okay with that because I'm getting the car for a fraction of the price and I get to build it because like cars like this guy, the E91 M3, I'm just genuinely like in the back of my head I'm like I'm putting a lot of money into this but I'm literally upgrading everything I put my money into because this is something I'm gonna keep this is something like of course when I have kids and just going out to car events and just having like a super sick and unique build it means a lot to me these custom cars building the car means a lot to me than just purchasing when I purchased the IA it just it just felt kind of like a fake flex at the same time because like I only put a little bit of money down so first off I never really owned it owned it and second off I really didn't do much to it I put literally Apple CarPlay on it and then I uh, put like a you know 
carbon kit on there, uh, carbon steering wheel, which I mean, all those things made the car look amazing. And then I put some wheels actually. Um, so I did put some things on there, but it wasn't enough for me to like truly feel like I'm like emotionally invested into that car. With this wagon, I've literally put so much time into it that I literally feel like this car has become one with me. And uh, I'm just gonna keep going at it because I mean, guys, again, this car means a lot to me. That's kind of how I want the like the supercar to be with me. I want that car to be like a part of me, like something that I've, I've built from the ground up. And it's something when I look at it, I like, that's my work right there. So this is like a long intro to today's video, but it's just because my head's all over the place. I, I kind of want to put you guys at where I'm kind of at and that's, that, I'm literally all over the place. So so let me know down below guys. I'm going to see if I can throw up a poll right over here um, or, you know, I'm just going to comment down below and just let me know what you guys think is the best. Would you guys rather go with a Gen 1 R8 if it's cheap enough and we could fix it and it'd be very affordable and we're not going to go on any debt? Do you think I would rather get a Gen 2 and when I can buy it, I'd just be able to literally just get the car because, uh, I mean, the repairs are like very, very expensive. I'll probably buy the car and then I'll store it until I get some more money to actually get the parts on and stuff like that. Or should I get a 570? Same thing with the Gen 2. I'd have to store it, wait to save up money for some parts. Or a Lambo Huracan, which is, again, I have to store it and get some more parts unless I go with a Gallardo. But I prefer an R8 over a Gallardo, to be honest. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not like a ball or anything like that. So making this first purchase is kind of like a big deal for me. And the only one that I could really, really, really afford is a Gen 1, like V10. And uh, it's still an amazing car and I mean I'm, I'm gonna be able to buy it and fix it no problem but um, at the same time it's like when I'm at that price range though that I worked five to six years for um, like oh, I'm just I'm so close and I'm only like five or ten grand difference compared to a gen 2 and McLaren and Lambs so it's kind of crazy it's kind of like anyway anyway I know some of you guys that don't give up about me are gonna be like nor you talk too much but I feel like that's that's the whole point of my videos I'm talking I'm showing you guys my life I'm showing you guys what I'm going through and I would really appreciate you guys' feedback down below so it can help me kind of make a better decision but without further ado guys we are back with the E91 M3 it's gonna be looking so 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 good hopefully when we actually get the supercar side by side in this garage oh it's gonna be dreams coming true so if you guys look at the front end of this beast this thing's pretty much put together now honestly driving it it's not really possible because the side mirror is being I mean the rear view mirror is being used to hold you hold up the door dome lights um, so that's not really practical I can't really adjust that mirror we don't actually have even side mirrors on the car and uh, I can't really wash the car because I'm scared that water might go in here water might get in the sunroof because the sunroof is just not working properly so I decided you know what in today's video I want to get this whole door assembled on both sides so what we got over here is that so we have both door bezels with the, the tweeters right over here these are the alpha ones I actually got these installed and we uninstalled it because uh, you know we had to do some things with the interior we got the door cards right over here as well with the alpha one speaker so we're gonna get that installed as well and then we also have all the trim pieces we got the the dry carbon uh the handle and everything like that and then we also have these beautiful shadow line mirrors that came off our donor car i'm super happy that our donor car came with shadow line mirrors um so i'm super happy about that we're gonna install those and then uh yeah we got just like the seals and stuff like that so we're literally gonna be able to assemble this door absolutely completely and then what we got sitting over here is both of the m3 side skirts now i'm pretty sure lengthwise it's the exact same as an e90 m3 but the things that's kind of scaring me right now and i just realized this is that an e90 and e92 uh the side skirts are pretty much just held on by these clips and if you guys look at an m3 one it actually has its own kind of clips and uh, i don't know if it mounts in the same exact spot as a wagon i'd be really unfortunate if it's not it's gonna be such a pain to get these installed otherwise so wish me luck guys and hopefully these clips just plug in directly where the oem 328 wagon clips go these things are absolutely filthy and i don't want to keep touching them so i think the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is just set up the power washer and just go ahead and power wash these down plus it's gonna look a lot better in the car when it's actually all cleaned up So guys, while we wait for the side skirts to dry up, I think the next thing we should go ahead and do is honestly start installing the side mirrors. I've been wanting these side mirrors for so, so, so long. Literally just backing up the car in here was super sketchy without any mirrors whatsoever. I'm literally just looking around. And not to mention, I'm not really used to driving a wagon, so the extra length I'm just not used to. So anywho, let's just go ahead and install the side mirrors and we can start assembling literally everything else on the both doors. Because honestly, guys, this interior is going to look so much more complete once we actually get the door cards in here. And it's going to look so, so, so good.
check this out. I don't want to get any copyright strikes. I'm going to cut it right here, guys. <laughs> Let's hope right now the side skirts are gonna go on fairly easily. I mean, this is all in hopes. I mean, if it goes on very easy, at least if, if the majority of the clips go on very easy, I'd be very happy. Um, if all of the holes are not the same on this chest than it is on the E90M3, it's gonna really suck because I don't really know how to put it on. Otherwise, I'm sure there are ways to put it on. I just don't know the most OEM way to do it because it's plastic. So can't really weld anything to it and make new brackets. I mean, I guess you can plastic weld it, but I don't know how strong that's gonna be. So instead of overthinking it, let's just go ahead and try to slap on i would say the driver's side first and just see you know if it works So the good news guys, the side skirt is on. The bad news is only by two tabs. So the front, two, the, all the tabs pretty much line up, but unfortunately it's just not popping in. Like all the ones in the center are not popping in. I got the two to pop in on this side and the one that actually hugs the side skirt on this side is clipped in, which is honestly the, the, the most important ones is the front and the rear. We could definitely work on the gaps down here. I mean, that's definitely something that needs to get sorted eventually. But the main thing is right now is if we can actually get all the clips in there to where I'm not gonna worry about the side skirt flying off while we're driving because that would suck. I believe these things run like four to $500 each on eBay, so I do not wanna lose that. From here forward, it looks so, so, so crazy. Um, from here back, uh, yeah, this car needs a lot of work. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep finicking with this. As you guys can see, if I just go ahead and push this in, it looks so, so, so good. It's so, so, so perfect. I just need to figure out a way to get the clips in there in a way that it works perfectly. So I'll get back to y'all once I actually figure that out. And just like that, guys, we have this side skirt fully on there. And I'm, I'm happy to say, honestly, I don't even know if I need trimming. So uh, I didn't really affect anything with the trimming because I trimmed so shortly. Everything you guys see over here, I mean, that can just get repainted. That's not actually trimmed off. So this is perfectly fine. I might not have to trim the other side. I think I just have to really jab at it really hard because when I jabbed at it really hard, it all the clips went in, which I'm super happy about. I went ahead and also put the guide rails on the bottom, which I don't normally do in all my cars. And then I actually put the clips in on the bottom as well. So this side skirt is not going anywhere again i'm trying to put everything on this car like oem and i'm super happy to say that other than the gaps like honestly the door gaps and the quarter panel gaps are not too bad i think the quarter panel is a little bit different so once we actually put on the quarter panel um that would be more fluid and then over here the gap between the fender and the side skirt it's really close to each other uh, but we do need to move up the fender anyways and that should relieve that as well and then it should be pretty much flush throughout the entire side and then hopefully we can adjust this as well once we actually adjust the fender so yeah super happy on how it's coming out let's just go ahead and drop the car down and start knocking out the other side. Honestly, guys, I'm thinking also, if we knock out the side skirt as well, this car definitely needs a car wash. Not like a really in-depth car wash, but just enough to get pretty much all the dirt off both sides. We have never washed this car, not even the, the, the wagon itself since we got it. So this dirt from this door is from one car and this dirt from this door is another car. We literally didn't wash any of the cars when we first got them. So yeah, I think a car wash is much needed. Um, but again, we're not gonna go too heavy on it because we don't want any water going through the roof, messing up the Alcantara. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and put it in the other side side skirt i'm just so happy that that's coming together pretty smoothly and then i'll show you guys some of the bad news once we actually get on that side skirt Don't wanna take it slow. Just wanna Oh. 
Wish I could turn back time, go back and do things right Give you a wedding ring, give you my everything And be there by your side Share a life and have a child And as you guys saw, the glass is looking so much cleaner. The car is looking so much better. All this multicoloredness, I'm not really digging it. You can't really see the car because the rear portion is super dark. Not to mention, it's really ugly. <laughs> but the next thing I actually want to get on is the spoiler to make sure that it's almost going to be waterproof. Once you actually get this stuff kind of dialed in, we just have to worry about the sunroof and then this thing will officially be able to like actually drive in the rain. That's kind of like the biggest priority. I don't want to leave it outside because if I leave it outside and water gets on this, it's going to be an absolute nightmare and water can't go into the sunroof because it just doesn't, it doesn't shut. So at this point, let's just go ahead and try to put on the wing. I hope it goes on fairly easily and I hope I can find all the screws for it because I don't know where they are. And just put the hardware back in there, guys. Everything's looking really, really, really good. Closing the trunk, we finally have the factory spoiler on there. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this off as well. Hopefully that light works as well. So let me go ahead and test that first, and then I wanna show you guys something else that's kinda cool. So grabbing the keys, bada bing, bada bing. Okay, I'm not really seeing that third. I think it's a brake light though. Let's go ahead and just test that out. So thankfully this does work, which is a huge plus. Let me go ahead and show you guys how this thing looks with the trunk up. From the front, you can't really tell this is an E91, but from right over here, <laughs> it just looks so, so, so good. I'm super happy we got the mirrors on there, the side skirts on, they made some significant progress. We went ahead and reassembled the trunk right here. And I think we should go ahead and add something to kind of make this thing, because it's technically drivable at this point. Like we have legal mirrors on here. Um, putting on a license plate, honestly, is just the finishing touch it needs. And just like that, guys, we got our license plate on. The tags are expired as of uh, literally last month. But we got the brand new M Life license plate frame with the Save a BMW license plate. I literally saved this license plate for a custom build. And it looks so good with this car. It's gonna look even better when the whole car is orange with a lot of black accents. We got the black license plate with the black plate. It's gonna look so good. Guys, the giveaway stuff is still here. To be shouted out in the next video to be part of the giveaway, all you guys gotta do is cop some license plate frame, which I mean, come on. Literally every person with a BMW should have one of these we have the save a bmw broke beamer boys this is the perfect license plate for those of you guys who have a custom project or somebody that's working on a project that's always broke because of it and then we got the m life remember to stay humble place which is the perfect place for those of you guys uh who have an m car that love flexing but you got to remember to stay humble because uh yeah not everyone does so yeah like i said guys links are down below i want to do one more thing before actually calling it a night on the wagon and oh my god guys we made such good progress today like i said guys i'm all about details and these caps right over here are actually going to be used to pretty much cover up the screw holes on the fenders so i know everything's gonna get painted eventually but for now i don't actually want to lose these so basically what these things are uh you put it right on top of the screw hole and just like that you guys can see the caps are on all the screws again i'm all about the details on this car and we got every single cap for every single screw now again we're gonna have to remove this stuff anyways pretty soon here but in the meantime it just looks super good but yeah as you guys can see that's gonna have to conclude today's video let me go ahead and just get both cars in the garage real quick and then uh and then uh yeah i'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot easier this time because i actually have mirrors not to mention my glass is actually clean now, which is a huge plus.
right, guys, that is gonna have to conclude today's video. If you guys are enjoying the progress on the E91 M3, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are excited to see more content with this thing, make sure to smash the like button. This car, I have so much dreams and goals for it. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I have literally no budget limit on this build either. I mean, once you actually throw on the supercharger, do a big brake upgrade and like a bunch of other stuff to it. Again, I'm trying to build the best E91 M3 out there and you guys are about to see it on this channel. So if you guys are excited, again, make sure to smash the like button, support your boy, cop them plates down below so I can actually continue to spend money on this thing. But yeah, without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.